Hello and welcome back to Jarvis Johnson Gold, the premium channel that is free. Um, it is, it is free. But if you're watching this, you're premium and I hate myself. <laughs> No, no. It's just that I continue to subject myself to things where I'm just like, why are we here? And how did the internet become this way? It was such a cool experiment back in the day, but all good things must come to an end. It has come to my attention that there is a TikTok house of singing country music artists. So obviously we've got to talk about it. You'll be watching my my first impressions today. What are my experiences with country music? You know, it's not for me. I, I definitely am one of those people or have been historically one of those people who was like, I like all music except for country, <laughs> you know? Um, so I'm annoying is what I was saying, but I'm an open mind. I, I, I've got an open mind. Today, we're going to check out the 615 house on TikTok. They're a community of artists in Nashville, which is sick. I love an artist community. Artists working together, collaborating. I'm a fan, okay? I'm a fan of the concept. <laughs> the graphic design of the logo is doing a bit much <laughs> because it's got the six, has, has got a window, um, you know, like houses have. And then the one is a part of a house. And then the five is a... Uh, part of the five is a is a record so it's a it's a music house <laughs> i don't know if you needed to Did, is 615 the address of the house i feel like <laughs> or is it like a area code hang on all right it's a nashville area code okay great now a lot of what these artists are doing here is singing songs i do believe i would be copyright stricken if i were to play too many of them but i do want to give you some idea and then we'll see we'll see what we can get through the monetization uh, gauntlet and uh, make it make it through to your eyeballs. Okay, so this is a lot of people. I assume that not everyone here lives in the house, but they do all sing. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. I, I imagine it can't possibly get annoying. Jolene, 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 Jolene. So one person is singing everyone else's <laughs> mouthing the words, which is kind of odd. But I guess the challenge is that you're supposed to be such a huge fan of 615 House that you go, oh, that voice? That's Mary Jo, hands down. We all know Mary Jo's sultry tones. All right, maybe this is a great place to start. What's the story behind the house? How did y'all end up there together? Do you really live there? I'm going to have to assume no. I'm going to have to assume that it is just a location that they shoot singing content, but let's find out. But we actually filmed the 615 house used to be Reba McIntyre's house. And it's just, I just feel like it's really inspiring to me to just pull up to this mansion. It is pretty inspiring to pull up to a mansion, let me tell you. Every time in my life I've pulled up to a mansion, which is something I do often do, I'm kind of like, damn, we made it. We made it to Reba McIntyre's old old house <laughs> which is where everybody wants to we all want to get to the the mcintyre estate that's what we should all be aspiring to pull up to this mansion and uh pretend to be reba no i'm just kidding god i wish i was her <laughs> talk about a daddy reba i think if there's anything we take away from this it's that reba is a daddy and <laughs> no one will be explaining what they mean by that and let's move on it is my understanding that in addition to singing you know we got to get to know some of the cast some of the some of the crew some of the gang some of the 615 housemates um and so they do 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 they do some of the you know tiktok tiktoky things like pranks and challenges and such and that's my cup of tea more than the singing so i want to see i want to see some of that what's up y'all i'm bailey zimmerman and i'm at the 615 house and i'm here to pour beer on people's faces <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. When Bailey arrives, he's here to pour beer on people's faces <laughs> with this empty solo cup. All right, let's see, let's see. But first, howdy partner. Are you singing yourself a sad little country song about single use plastics and their impact on the environment? Well, it sounds like you need today's sponsor, Native. One thing about me is I wanna use products with safe and effective ingredients, and that's why I turned to Native. Native makes daily staples like deodorant, body wash, shampoo, soap, pretty much anything you need to stay clean in a way that is good, clean, fun, and cruelty-free. They have a great deodorant that dries quickly and isn't sticky and keeps me feeling fresh all day. It's made with simple ingredients like coconut oil and shea butter. Better yet, it doesn't include ingredients like aluminum or parabens. 
nice and easy. And now you can get that same great deodorant in plastic-free packaging. The packaging is made with 90% post-consumer recycled paper and Native is a partner with 1% for the Planet, committing 1% of their plastic-free deodorant sales to environmental nonprofits. I received eucalyptus and mint, lavender and rose, and my personal favorite, coconut and vanilla, Native also has a limited edition cocktail inspired series that's perfect for summer, including scents like Pina Colada, Lakeside Ginger Mule, and Poolside Citrus Spritz. Cheers to that. So three plastic free deodorants would be $39, but using my link in the description with code Jarvis, you can get those for just $26. That's 33% off. Using my code, you can also get 20% off of body wash or toothpaste as well. Thanks again to Native for sponsoring this video. She moves, she's got me Wait, do they always have to be singing? <laughs> I don't understand. Like, is that a is that a rule in six one five house? When you step foot on these sacred McIntyre grounds, you better not stop humming a country tune, <laughs> or else your ass is getting sipped, which is the term for when you pour beer on someone's face. <laughs> oh. Wait, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't pour it. So, okay, I think I get the game now. So, you've got to sing along, and then when the music stops, you got to know the song. And if you don't know the song, then your ass is getting sipped. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> we knew he was going to fail. <laughs> we knew he was going to fail from the very beginning because he didn't even pretend to know the song. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. <laughs> what, what, what song is that? Read about you all the time. Read about you, baby. It's only you and me. Oh, okay. Sorry, there's this thing that I do in my brain. I sometimes have to play Radio Jarvis to remember in 1999 when I was getting ready for school and this song came on the radio. That way I can summon whatever lyrics are in my head and I can Google it and find out that it is Here Without You by Three Doors Down. So I don't know if you are already impressed by my gift, but I would never be sipped. <laughs> okay, you can't sip the sipper, dog. But this guy, this fucking, this, this fucking loser doesn't, you can't avoid the sip. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. <laughs> He goes, I'm with you. And then he just opens his mouth, which is not what I would do. I would close my mouth because I, I would prefer not to be beer boarded. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I guess you got to sip. You got to play the game. Yeah, you're done. You're done. You're done. Wait, no. You're done. I'm going to end you. You will never know this radio hit. <laughs> oh, this is by Daughtry, right? Why do I know all these? Radio Jarvis. To the place where I belong. Where this love has always been enough for me. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> Can't sip this guy. <laughs> You'll never sip me. I guess, yeah, I don't know why I know these songs. I guess they're not popular songs. I don't like country music, but some of these aren't country songs. Oh. Take it all away. Okay, he but he won though. He sang the song and then the guy celebrated with him and then poured beer. I don't think the rules are very clear of this game. If you're gonna be the arbiter of a singer sip competition, you gotta know when to when to dip the sip. <laughs> you gotta know when to dip the dunk. You gotta know when to beer the board. You know what I'm saying? Right? <laughs> so one of my questions, I have two questions for you. Uh as if, if for anybody who's a country, a country boy, a, a country who knows the country, <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like how many of these accents are real, one. And then two, is like, where did that country singing voice come from? You know, like when British people sing, like if you listen to an Oasis song, they are British people who just suddenly like they lose their accent when they're singing or even like Muse or something like that, right? But country people, when they start singing, they gain an accent <laughs> that I've never. I never heard Brown Girl sing down the east of the as a room that I don't. I gosh, I wish I could. I feel like I was just doing "Before He Cheats" by Carrie Underwood, but in a weird accent. <laughs> well, I took my key into the side of his pretty little souped up four wheel drive. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's got like a. It's just. It's not the same. It's a different voice. <laughs> It, I, it's a new accent for just the singing. They only do music themed stuff, which is kind of annoying. It's like the, this is like 
country theater kids or whatever where like everything it's like glee for country singers where like everything is a song and musically related like take a break okay we don't need you don't need to play musical flip cup you can just play regular ass flip cup all right they're like when you step into 615 your microphone stays up you know what i'm saying partner god why am i doing this stereotypical ass accent what? music flip yeah. cup gets in okay. should i explain uh Still the ones. Oh god, this is so annoying. There's no beer in the musical flip cup, and you just flip this, and it's like, oh, I gotta sing a song, and it's like we we assumed, we assumed you'd be singing a song. You guys don't stop singing song. <laughs> this would be the most insufferable house. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, there is beer. There, there is beer. <laughs> This is the worst party game I've ever seen. This is definitely something that feels like it would not exist when the cameras are off, you know? So now the day bleeds into nightfall. It's so cringy. I... These people are talented. Do not get me wrong. It's just like the glee effect where like everything turns into a musical moment. And that is like, people make fun of that for a reason. You know, it's like, it's uncomfortable. Another thing I just noticed is that there's no game. <laughs> yeah. Normally with Flip Cup, you're like racing, right? You're like racing with somebody else. To, you're going down the line. You got to flip the cups before your opponent flips their cups. Like the fact that this girl is now struggling to flip her cup, there's no consequences. She's still going to sing. <laughs> there's no, if you don't flip the cup, Cindy, you're not going to get to sing Shania Twain. <laughs> Anything but that. No, please. They have singing battles. This is just too much, but people love this. People love it. Okay. I'm not trying to be a hater here. Okay. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> just like a, a twinge, you know? I like the way you're looking at me first off. And the warden saying, come on somebody, why don't you run? You know what I mean? It's just like, how do you get the country voice? I can't even do it. I can't, <laughs> I can't do it at all. Okay, so it seems like the two things that they do are sing and drink, and then also sing sing and drink, like, together as a combination, usually in the form of a game. Uh, let's, let's play Who's Gonna Get the Drunk Game. That's not, that's not a game. That is just alcoholism. Um, <laughs> that's not something to be joked about. Very strong feeling that Chase Matthew is gonna get the drunkest tonight. What's up, y'all? I'm Thomas Mack, and I think Cooper Allen's gonna get the drunkest tonight. Dude, these names... They're all f double first names. Hey, what up, everybody? My name is Thomas Mack. My name is John J. <laughs> I signed the Declaration of Independence. Um, <laughs> I'm Cooper Allen. My name is Josh Jarvis. <laughs> My name is fucking uh, Tim Tom. <laughs> My name is Frankie John. <laughs> I can't even think of names right now. My name is Oliver Elijah. My name is William James. <laughs> My name is Ben Lucas. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like literally. You want to be a country star? You just roll, you just grab any name, you just scroll, just scroll, and you go, My name is Jose Parker. Okay. Oh, Wesley Caden. Just by saying his name, he's now at the top of the Billboard charts. He just won a CMT award. What <laughs> Wesley Caden? Tennessee. Just wait to see what happens. So first of all, this guy is in their little crew. We already saw him. <laughs> so they're not even like, they're not, they're not even trying. The, when the pizza guy, our friend Tim went to go get pizza and the weirdest thing happened. Hey, what's up, man? How's it going? Man? Oh, I always, I always get my pizza with my guitar in hand. <laughs> my guitar never leaves my hand, in fact. All right, still on. Hey, if you don't mind me asking, what's this whole house for? If you don't mind my asking, what is a house this big for? Why have we zoned so many single family homes and not allowed for any multi-family units okay that's my question i'm just trying to get some housing up in this piece <laughs> i mean, we're at work content house for a bunch of singers you know doing covers and uh, different originals and stuff like that yeah. i see too but thank you have a good i see too cool <laughs> we don't care <laughs> We wanted our pizza. Can you imagine if I delivered pizza to the Hype House and I was like, you know, I I, I, I have an influencer also. Could I dance with you guys? You guys think I could join the house? Oh, yeah. I know you. Oh God, oh God. Even though it's fake, it's so cringe. We are not, I can't, no, uh-uh. So this is all stage. This guy's a member of the house. Great singer, you know, no, no doubt about that. Still can't escape the cringe of pretending to sing for someone who is not asking for it. I don't know what it is about that, but even if you're good, don't do it. Don't do it. Also just shout out to the hands on this dude gripping two pizzas with one hand. I don't know, I'd be concerned about the structural integrity 
integrity of those boxes, but hey, look, I'm no pizza. I can't, I can't really speak for them. Sing or drink. What kind of game is this? Is It's like, you're gonna do both. You're gonna sing. You were, there's no way in hell you're not gonna sing. No, you weren't perfect, but I never felt this way for no one. Drink. Wait, that was a sing and drink for what it's worth. Drinking that ice cold beer. <laughs> What do you? What was that? I used a lyric that involved drinking, so you got a drink. Better give me a pleasing, sneezing, squeezing thing. Ah. <laughs> oh, so you've got to like sing the song. You've got to. It's, it's if you don't know the lyrics, you got to drink, or if someone just says to drink, you got to drink. The rules are pretty lax in Six One Five House. <laughs> um, you know, it kind of doesn't matter as long as you're singing and you're drinking, then you're you're welcome in, unless you delivered pizzas <laughs> in that case fuck you oh god oh god getting higher than the empire state my lover she's waiting for me even when they're in on the joke it's just not it this isn't for me we just can't I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just wasn't, as soon as he was doing the beating on the wall and then also started singing, I was out. Rap battle. Uh-oh, who's ready to cringe? <laughs> Entirely doing a rap battle. May the best one win. Good luck. Let's go. Okay. Give me a second. I, oh. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> let's try that again. Return to the Mac. Get it what it is, what it does, what it is, what it is. Looking for a battle. Oh, no. Oh, no. No! Macklemore? <laughs> You're not supposed to... A rap battle isn't where you perform a song that someone else has already written. And then of all songs to pick, you had to pick Macklemore in a rap battle. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty nervous about this this rap battle, but if I drop my hottest bars about the, the, my latest thrift shop haul, I, I think uh, I think I'm bound to win. Okay, so it's a <laughs> it's a a white rapper cocktail. <laughs> we've got Macklemore, we've got we've got Eminem, and of course it's the 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 rap god what i gotta do to get it through the youtube human innovative animated run i can do it too okay oh sorry I, I i lost my cool but if anybody's got any uh rap battles <laughs> coming up i could maybe maybe slide on in there maybe get involved perhaps drop a few bars that uh were already featured in someone else's song i'm just saying <laughs> uh i think dipper just broke the house <laughs> and uh now's about time to call it I hope you enjoyed this romp through 615 House. I mean, none of them any ill will. It seems like they're all having a good time singing and drinking. And uh, uh, yeah, stay gold, everybody.